Right, good day team. Welcome, another session. Uh, going to do a very steady one today, um, but we are going to throw in a little bit of rate changes, um, hence one of my favourites. and uh, uh, Probably, I would say it's, it's enjoyable because you've got to be switched on for your steady state to get the technique right at 20, uh, but then we jump up every fourth minute, okay, hence the four and one changes. Uh, and we just free it up, okay? So we just let it free up for a minute, and then we settle back down onto the rhythm for that 20, okay? So as you can see, the rate changes that we'll do, um, in the first set, we'll go uh, four minutes at 20, and then we'll go to 22, back to four minutes, and then we go to 24, back to 20, 24, back to 20, and then we'll finish on 26, okay? 90 seconds rest in between, and then we go through it again, um, and we'll just do an upscale in this one, okay? 22, 24, 26, 28, okay? So the theme of it, as always, really focusing on our technique, okay? We've got good 20 minutes in each piece to really get into the flow, to keep working on our rhythm. And then as we bring up that rating, all we're trying to do is move what we're doing at that 20 just a little bit faster, okay? That's it, okay? We're not trying to add a heap more power. Uh, we're really just focusing on moving quicker and the speed will happen on the screen because of that. Okay, so it's a very just technical based session today, just really focusing on the rhythm and the flow, trying to get the bodies into position, okay? So just working on the back, getting off, allowing the machine to take you forward, everything that we're trying to work on, a good chance today with just a couple of thought processes in between where we take that rating up, okay? Now, when we bring that rating back down, so once we go up, you know, okay, we've gone for a 20, we get up to 24. When we bring it back down, as we go back down, feel a slow decrease in speed, okay? Now, we don't just want to, like, take off the pressure, uh, uh, and then build it back up again, okay? What we're trying to do is we're just trying to relax a little bit more. There's going to be a discrepancy in between the drive speed because, of course, the flywheel's moving quicker because we've been at 24 and we've got faster speed. So to bring it back down to 20, we're not just going to hold it back and, and, be, and stop at the finish, okay? Yes, we've got to be controlled on the way forward, but just let it gradually come down, okay? So over five, six, seven strokes, whatever it takes, to allow that speed and rhythm to come back down. Okay, and I'll talk you through it, okay? So it's just really letting the flywheel come back to the speed of 20 over, over a period of time. And then once we're there, because we've just spiked the heart rate a little bit, that's where we've got to go back into the mode of efficiency and focus on the rhythm, the flow, and really just getting this understanding for this metronomic, just this continuous motion where... We're just rolling with the machine. We're picking the speed of the machine. We're carrying it through and getting good money, okay? We're getting good bang for our buck by making sure that we've just got this rhythm and this flow that we're trying to do, okay? Um, as always, let's make sure we focus on this glide into the front and the smooth change in direction around the catch, okay? Not in to try and, and make and muscle it out. We're rolling in to press away, okay? And as always... Initiate with the legs and then just drive the body and just sit back. Leave these arms out long, okay? Floppy arms, they just hang out there and we just sit back through and just let this all happen around here. So that majority of all the work is done from here as we push and we open out, okay? Legs push and open that body out all at, one, all at once, okay? Get that pressure on the feet as we push, Okay, and as we sit back, try and get the timing right. I know it's, it's quite difficult because if we, if we miss timing and we do a little bit of that with the bodies, not ideal, okay, and so forth if we push like that, and then we get a little bit of discrepancy. So it is really just trying to start working and finding what's working for you, but that focus, if we're looking for the potential, okay, and we talk about the potential of the force curve, is making sure that through that middle, legs, body, all of that is happening through here, 
okay? We're making sure that it's just a sit back through the stroke, allowing these arms to hang, just finish off the body, okay? Right, that's enough chit chat. Um, let's do a little bit of warm up. Once we're warmed up, we're loose, we'll get straight into this and punch it out, okay? Good, work, good, good workout today. There's 40 minutes of time. Uh, really just gonna set us up for good solid work. Good, good sweat session, depending on how hot you are. Okay? And just really nice focus and rhythm. As always, warm up how you'd like. Be nice and smooth and relaxed. I'm always just lengthening stroke by stroke, getting into a position, and then really holding that body, holding that hang. Okay, nice. As always, you know, we just want to make sure we we do get loose. Okay, sometimes it takes longer than others. But just starting off in the shape that we're trying to get to in our workout. Okay, there's no point warming up like this, just going, oh, okay, I'll get, get warmed up. Start to feel the focus of our of our process and rhythm now, okay, especially in a warm up where we're not focused on the numbers on screen, but we're actually focused on the movement that we're creating, okay? Once we get this movement, then we can start just adding a little bit more pressure. We're getting the bodies more comfortable in the position. Okay, we're a couple of minutes through this. So now we should be able to just start pressing on a little bit more. Okay, fairly intense. Feel that squeeze. Feel that motion. Okay, this is good. Nice, good pressure. Okay, I'm just starting to build. Now for the next 45 to a minute. Start to feel more comfortable. Better press on the feet. Better motion around the finish. The handles. Nice. Okay. We'll do a few more strikes here. Do we just squeeze it on now? We should be just about ready to go into our session be close enough to our numbers to start. Pack three more. Last one. Good. Okay, that's it. Good amount of warm up. If you feel you need to do a bit more, do as much as you need. Okay, very, very individual. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's plenty to start for me. Um, let's rock and roll, okay? So, as always, we're just going to set an interval uh, workout, okay? Select workout, new workout, intervals, time. Okay, let's take that up to 20 minutes. And we're going to do a minute and a half rest. One minute, 30 seconds. Okay, you beauty, what are we on there? Good five, number. Okay. Getting 
get ourselves set. Okay, press our check button. And we're ready to go. Okay, so, I'm not taking too much time. Let's get straight into it, get into this rhythm. Four minute, four minute, one minute changes. Okay, here we go. Set him ready. Attention. Go. Okay, straight onto that rhythm. Nice and loose. Let's work into our speed. Okay, finding a sustainable speed and rhythm in this first couple of minutes as we work down. And really start off here with the focus on smoothness and efficiency, okay? Handles around the finish, brush the body. Okay, good motion. Handles come to the body with the body swing. Then they brush and head away. While we're hanging under the lats, under the armpits, through the body. Okay, trying to make this metronomic so that it feels like same speed, forward every time. Same motion on the drive. I'm starting to get an appreciation for that smoothness around the catch. Okay, the better we can pick up the gear, change its direction, the easier it is to ma maintain our numbers on screen and also stay loose and relaxed in the body. So, have a look now at the compression here. Okay, we're rolling forward at one speed. We get into a position here, slightly uncomfortable. And we're pushing away through the middle. Okay, remembering that the peak force isn't done till the legs and body are working together which means that we don't have to get to the front and go and be super powerful with it, knowing that it's going to climb as the flywheel increases with our body weight. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so really nice and focused, good posture that core around the finish okay don't need to be bolt upright we need to be in a stable position okay so preparing to go up and right just with easy flow around the back this one now So, just remembering that the speed is an overall movement, it's not just the drive, and here we are now just tapping it along.
Good rhythm. Okay. So loose, breathing into it. Nice long arms. Yes. Hang. Armpits. Leave the hands out long. Good. Right, taking it down. Now, fulfill the drive. Patience on recovery. Let it come down over a bit. Okay. See that? So we've taken 20 plus seconds. I've now gone back down to 20. The speed is still quicker than when I went up. But it is slowing down over time. Okay, if we can maintain a faster speed, that's very good. Okay? But make sure we're not doing it with tension. We're actually doing it with rhythm and flow. Smoothness around the front and the back turns. <coughs> really nice. This is good. Really good. Good. Focus. Put a time to yourself. To listen. To feel. Okay, good. Now let's all focus on what's happening with our feet. So hold this rhythm. Even have a look down. Okay, probably a little bit of tension against the strap as we release these hands and start rolling off the back. And then halfway through this recovery, we start getting back onto the balls of the feet. And then just before the catch, we allow the flex in the ankles, the calves, the Achilles to happen and we can feel that end point slow feel the pressure on the feet push away okay good so just keep thinking about that for a bit feeling trying to be smooth as well as we come into the front, we start getting there. We're almost starting to think about the push away. Good. Okay, and this is really good. So we've got that compression now. Think about that. The press from the front. Compress, press. And the sit back through the middle. Okay, going up to 24. This one. Now, move quicker. Okay, take the flow with us. Move the hands. Okay, don't try and be strong. Move with it. Good. 
to hang. One smooth press on the feet all the way through. Build our ratio. Drive, recover. Drive, recover. Okay, letting it come back. Down four now. So we've still got that drive speed, but we've just been a bit more patient on the recovery. Breathe. Relax. Okay. Back onto that 20. Open the mouth. Good. Okay, so we worked on these feet last block. Now, let's think about the press away after that compression. Okay, so thinking about the feet again. When we push, we've got pressure on the feet right through the drive. Okay. So if we leave the hands long, we press. There's one smooth motion of the stroke. Where the legs <laughs> drive the body. Okay, this is good. Smooth. Okay, don't feel like there's an extra piece inside the drive. Sit back. And we can feel the core stability around the finish. And the hands brush and lead away. Okay. Press and hang with me. Armpits. Really focus those long arms out here. If we leave them out of the equation, they'll come back to us through that drive. Okay? Gorilla arms, think about that, our ancestors. We've got great hang strength. We don't need to grip and be tight, just roll and hang. Good. Okay, nice and consistent. Good set. Smooth. Press on the feet and the hips and the body. Start opening out through the drive. Long arms. Good. Not leaving a mark at the finish. Brush the hand around the body. Nice. This is good. Okay. So we're going to go back up. 24, increase the speed, overall with the stroke, everything quicker, this one, now, moving quicker, bit of freedom, here it is, okay, we've got more speed on the screen, Breathe into it. Make it consistent, sustainable. Nice. Good motion. 
good flow. Good hang under the armpit. Nice. This is good. Okay, going down. This way. Now, remember the patience. Slowly, bringing the rating into check. Holding the flywheel. Patience. Breathe. <laughs> Relax. Okay, that was a good change there. We let it come down. <clears throat> Over that period of time, a slow decrease <clears throat> by naturally letting that flywheel slow. Okay? Now breathe, check our tensions. Make sure we're not tense around the catch. Smooth roll. Remember, one speed on that recovery. Seat in hand. Once we get out here, roll. Roll. <laughs> one speed forward. Good. Nice. Really good. Smooth rhythm. Good motion. Holding our form. Okay, double check what we've been working on. The feet and the recovery. In the forward and press. Nice. Good motion. Really nice. Good hang. Okay, this is nice. Sustainability, relaxation. Even though heart rates are up and we're working, when we're not under tension on the drop on the drive, relax. Let the machine bring us forward with the bungee. We set ourselves into position and then press. Okay, nice. Remember, smoothness around the catch, not hitting the front, not getting there, and then hitting, roll around. Increase the speed through the drive. Legs and body. And what are we doing with the arms? Yes, hanging long. Very good. Nice motion. Okay. So, as we go up to 26, not overworking, everything moves quicker, tap it along. <clears throat> Here we go. Moving in. Now, build. <clears throat> okay, see that? We built into it. We've now I've got speed on the flywheel. Breathe. Hang. Tap it along. Not trying to increase the speed. We're 
trying to maintain. Nice and loose. Metronomic, continuous. Pull away. Okay, now we can just take it down, breathe, spend this first 30, 40 seconds just calming ourselves back down, getting in control, letting that heart rate come down, sucking the oxygen. Ready for the next one, okay? So, not overly a strenuous workout, okay? Yes, we can make it strenuous if we're really trying to push our numbers, okay? But if we're working on a good base speed, really trying to sustain our numbers, not watch them bounce around too much, and just really focus on this rhythm, we should be in a good place, okay? We shouldn't be having to really work it hard when we go up and then when we come off the speed, we shouldn't be just letting it die by stopping and then slowing ourselves down. We keep that rhythm and it just slowly comes down over time. Okay. So, rest running out, here we go, boom. Moving back in. Now, okay, allow ourselves a little bit of time. Let's give it 45 seconds or quicker to get back onto our rhythm, our length, and our speed. Focus on this relaxation, the length of our stroke, the smoothness of it as well. How smooth are we around the pickup? Am I coming in and then having a bit of a yank, or am I rolling around? Is there smoothness? Am I yamming it into the chest, or am I letting it flow around? And yes, feel the rhythm, the metronomic, we're back and forward. Trying to make it feel that there's a ratio and a consistent ratio, especially on the recovery here, one speed. Not quick, slow, uh, whatever, one Speed. One speed. Okay. We get one speed here on the recovery. Should translate into one speed on the drive with that press and swing. Okay, good. Nice. And here we are, okay, sitting into this rhythm. Focusing again, that speed around the front, and press smoothly out of that catch position. Nice. Really good. Nice roll. Okay. Let's think of our posture. Remember, and we don't have to be set here and tense coming into the front. We can be set and just taking that last little bit of control as we get onto the front there. 
okay? We don't have to be into final position here. Creates too much tension. We want to be set there, okay? Naturally, setting. Okay, not super stiff with our movements, like our knees, okay? We can have our knees straight. That's locked out. That straight allows them to lift. Okay? Good roll. Patience. We've got our stability, but we've also got a little bit of relaxation in the body. Okay? Going up. 22. Now, relatively easy. Okay, nice. Easy speed. Okay, always as we go up, think how did I create this speed? Did I do it hard? Or did it feel relatively easy? Nice. Really good. Very nice. Patience. Okay, preparing to go down. Now, a little bit of patience forward. Good. Okay, and we just came off that really smoothly. Nice, good press through the drive. Think about our grip. Are we choking the handle? Or have we got nice ability to feel in our hands? Feel what the chain's doing. Feel how it's pulling us and drawing us back. Feel the hang on the push. Is it tense in your hands and the wrists? Or can we really do feel this hang under the armpits, down into the lats, okay? Also, make sure when we take the front, we don't do this, okay? Really keep it low through here, through the hang, rather than the up into the shoulders, okay? It's very easy to take the tension like that, rather than that, okay? Think about the chain being really flat. Don't let it come up, okay? Really flat and straight, okay? Which means that we have to hang under the armpits. Keep it low, okay? That's the most direct power application. Allows that body to open out. Good. Really good. Nice rhythm. <laughs> good flow. Okay, so that's good. Good with the hang. Focus the hinge in the hips. So as we're pushing with the feet, when do our hips start to open out? 
okay if we've got the hang we've got stability in the core we will allow our body to sit back through that stroke good okay focus it now hang sit back Okay, we can feel that pressure on the feet. Right through the drive. As the body comes back with that drive pressure. Good. Okay, keeping it smooth, preparing. Okay, moving quicker, up to 24. This now, handle speed, drive speed, there it is, okay, three strokes, three or four strokes. <clears throat> now what do we do when we've got the flywheel moving quicker, we tap it along, continue the speed. Around the front. Nice. Really good. Very nice. Nice and patient. Okay, here's the key going down. This one. Now, patience, slowly, let the speed come down, okay, another rating point for me, there it is. Okay, now maintaining relaxed rhythm, not working too hard. <clears throat> Flow. Okay, good. Only nine minutes left. Let's stay switched on. Let's really focus this rhythm down to the next rating check. Patient. <clears throat> Smooth. Hang. Nice. Good. Feel the press. Both feet together. Very good. Really nice. Good patience. Good movement speed. Okay, this is good. <clears throat> Relaxation. Continuous motion. Feel that pressure. <clears throat> okay. As we start getting tired, have a self check. How how am I placed with my pickup? Am I starting to get a bit of grab? Am I starting to get a bit of lift? Okay. Let's focus that now. Shake it out. Roll in, 
press away. Roll in, press away. Okay. Hang under the armpits. Both feet, feel that compression. Press. <laughs> okay, remember, squeeze the lemons, not smashing them. Press them out. Good. <clears throat> nice rhythm and flow. Yeah. Nice. Okay, going up. 26. Spread up. Move freely. Now, remember, build it. And again, build it. And again, build it. There it is. Okay. Now, we make this continuous motion. Hang. Press, hands around the back, good, half along, flywheel's moving, we're moving with it, this is good. Okay, going down, take the time, now, every stroke, a little bit more patience on the recovery, letting that flywheel slow down, just enough every stroke. Okay, there it is. Patience. Good. Nice. Okay, now hold the body this last four minutes. Breathe. Pick up. Feel the turn. Nice. Smooth. Good relaxation. <clears throat> Good rhythm. Okay, heads up. Mouth open. Really make sure in this last few minutes here, when we're under fatigue, is where we lock in the changes and the stroke that we've been trying to produce. Okay? The changes hold the bad habits and coming back in. <clears throat> Good. Really nice. Nice and smooth. Loose. Relaxed. Patient. Really good. This is us. Okay. I've only got a minute and a half. Left at 20. So let's get it smooth, nice and flat. Feel the hang under the armpits. Good. Nice. Patient. Really good. 
Nice. This is great. Good movement. Both feet. Press and squeeze that football together. The arms. Hang out long. Push away from the handle. The body. As we're pushing, hinges back. Feel that body swing through with the leg drive. Okay, real good. As we go up, remember, get it up, tap along, job done. Here we go, team. Up to 28. Now, build, build, and again, and again, there it is, move the hands, tap along, good, okay, feel that hang with me, relax the face, Press through the drive. Yeah, good, good. Hold. Nice and flat. Smooth around the front. No grab. Last three strokes. <clears throat> Done. Great. Awesome work, team. Okay. Finish with a flurry. Okay. I will just work it out. A bit of a warm down. Have a chat. Okay. Really nice. Okay. So. We'll start getting ourselves... Under control again. Breathing. Nice. Okay. Sitting nice and tall. Let's start to get the body into position a little bit. A little bit better on the stretch. On the setup. Don't have to worry too much about the compression as of yet. Okay, we'll do a little bit of active recovery shortly. But let's just press our menu button a couple of times. Okay, it's going to save that workout. You can go back and have a look, see which one was quicker. Okay, evaluate, so to speak. Okay, and let's start thinking now. Let's just put a little bit of activeness back into our stroke for a minute or so. So we think about our flow. When we're pressing, we're thinking about the hang. We've got just enough pressure against the handle on this drive to make sure that it hangs out long and feels the, the motion, feels the hang. Okay, good. Very nice. Okay, let's even now, let's just feel this. Without thinking about our pressure that we're putting onto the handle, let's feel the timing as we roll into the catch. Feel what the body's naturally trying to do. Okay, if we're lacking flexibility, what generally happens is we come into the front and that happens. Okay, we start to bring the hips underneath us or we start diving to get a bit more length. Okay, just make sure now we're rolling in. That's all we've got. Okay, that's all I've got. Without searching for more, without getting there going, I want to get a bit more or 
I've got to get a little bit more on the seat. Be content with where we're at, okay? And then just find a way to, can I switch off a little bit more and just drift in, okay? That's our position there, ready for the catch. Okay, there. Nice, easy spot. Okay. And then just think about the hang now, okay? Hang as we press away. Roll in. Long arms. Okay. That's about enough. Okay, great workout, team. I love my four-in-one changes. Um, it's sort of like ladder workouts, like pyramids, you know, going up and down. Um, but this is a little bit different because what we're trying to do is the base speed, which is the 20 in between everything. We're trying to be consistent with that speed. Okay, you might find that it gets slightly quicker every time. Okay, and I'll use round numbers here, but you might be sitting on 2 minutes 20. Okay, then when you go up to 22 and then back down, now you might find yourself on like 218 or something. Okay, and that's fine. It's good. Okay, and then you might go up to 24. Now you might come back slowly back to 217, 218. Okay, so you can see how you can just find a little bit of extra speed because you're, you've, you've got a little bit of quickness from that rating jump, which then translates into being able to maintain that little bit more speed on the flywheel as we come back down to that 20, okay? I'd like to think that we could either hold consistent or slightly get quicker. Um, if we find ourselves going slower, I think we have to ask, are we working too hard? Are we coming off the rate and overthinking it? Or are we just working like, if we let it just go down too much? Okay, but the idea is that at the end of it, to say, I started on this, <coughs> the last 20 strokes a minute piece before we went up to 28, where did that relate, okay? Now, if it's slightly quicker, great. If it's the same, great. Okay, if it's slower, oh well, whatever. Um, it is good to know that we could go slightly quicker through that piece, okay? But, <coughs> great changes. Um, having to focus, and it is hard to focus on that rhythm down and slowly let the, the rating come down, the speed naturally decrease, okay? Every every stroke, we're losing X number of revolutions, okay? We don't just go first stroke down and we just let it come right back to where we were before we went up. Um, I think for most of them, I was 30 to 40 seconds. It took me to get the rating down and the speed to come back to at least, if not better than what I started on the previous, okay? And that's what this session's about. Okay, it's not a hard out piece, Pete, like where we smash it out and then just drop it off and then work it back up. We're working it down, okay? And it's quite a bit of a skill to have to be able to work it down, okay? Um, most people will just take the weight off uh, and then let it go. You know, like we do at the finish, just take the weight off. Okay, it's easy because you can just let it come back down, let the rate go back and then build it back up again. But we're working it back down. So... Pat yourselves on the back, okay, great workout, um, good session, good time, okay, and that's what we need, we just need to keep working, you know, a 20 minute piece, not bad, okay, it's some pretty good time, uh, but we managed to break it up, men mentally stimulating, plenty of focus on that technique, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, hope that you were able to maintain as much as possible, um, if you're starting to fall off the rails towards the end, who cares, okay. We've got it. We'll get, keep working on it. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Make it. Try and make it more efficient, more easy, um, and lock in that technique which is working for you. Okay. I'm trying to give you a guide which is helping with that focus, the flow, some of the thought processes that I think about to to hold my technique, um, and hopefully they're rubbing off on you. Okay. Any questions? Throw them in the chat. Throw me a DM on Instagram. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'd love to help you guys out, and I know that we're doing that, especially by throwing all these sessions up. So, thanks for joining. Um, stay safe. Thank you very much from me and the Sensei team, and uh, we will see you guys on here for the next session. Right, peace out.